So a lot of the places that we go, especially when we're in the United States, people ask us, uh, where did you ever uh, find or hear tell of bluegrass music way up there in Canada? And, uh, of course, uh, we're not too far from Canada here, but uh, there's lots of places that we go that people just don't realize that bluegrass is everywhere. It's worldwide. And, uh, we come to know bluegrass uh, back in the early 80s. Uh, when we made a venture out to the West Coast, my brother and I, we worked as a, a team out there, and my, myself, my brother and our father, we worked up in the mountains cutting cedar logs, and it was hard work, it was real hard, it was so hard that I decided after three months of that, I was going to quit that job and take up the banjo, it was a lot easier, and so, <laughs> that was so many years ago, but uh, uh, really, that's the, word, the place where we got our first introduction to bluegrass music. We had some old, uh, old cassette tape that Dad had in the pickup truck, and we listened to those on a daily basis. Uh, and it really, uh, that's the old school bluegrass, those old k cassette recordings of uh, Flatt and Scruggs and the Stanley Brothers. And, uh, so we're going to do a song right now that kind of goes back uh, in the day for us, uh, and uh, where we first, I guess, heard some of that traditional bluegrass music. What to call it Old Rattler. Supper time, the dog would see. Here I learned him, here I learned him. Come on, rattler from the barn, here I learned him. When he come to find it out, he's barking at you. Here, rattler, here. Here, rattler, here. Come on, old rattler from the barn. Here, rattler, here. Here I learn here. 